Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and this is the Gamepad Axis Visualizer web page. So this is something that I made to visualize the movement of your gamepads or axes and uh, let's quickly go through how it works. So first of all, this should this is only tested on Chrome because Edge will only detect X input controllers like your Xbox One controller and I haven't tested it with Firefox. So if you don't see your controller listed here, you need to press a button on the controller with the with Chrome in focus and you should see a list of your controllers. So here I have my DualShock 4 listed. And the numbers here, these are the axes of the controller. So what you want to do is, let's say you want to test the left thumbstick. So you move the thumbstick up to a, a limit. So here I move the Y up to the top. So we look for an axis with, that says negative 1. So here it's axis 1 is negative 1. So we're going to say Y is axis 1. And when we move the left thumbstick to the right horizontally, we can see that axis 0 is 1. So we'll say X is represented by axis 0. So now the Axis Visualizer is ready to use. So how do we use it? Basically, we just need to turn the stick. So as it is, as the stick moves, where it, where it has been to will be drawn onto the screen. Now you might wonder why it's strange that even though the thumb stick is uh, round, but we are drawing a square, but that's because I think it's probably because of the how the potential meters work so this is actually the raw value that is being reported so like at this area we can see that axis 0 is uh, negative 0 0.8 and 1 is also negative 0 0.8 so we we'll never touch the edge of the circle so okay so with this we can quickly and effectively visualize the range of our controller movement and we'll be able to see how well our stick actually works. So I can also check the right thumbstick. So here we see that axis 3. So when I move it up, so 3 is negative 1. So we are going to monitor axis Y for negative 3. And this axis 2 is horizontal. 2. Okay, clear. And now we can draw again. Okay, so draws a nice little square, that's great. So it works, it works pretty well. Now let's take a look at the Raiju Tournament Edition. Okay, so the Raiju has a lot of axes, axes, I, I don't know how to, what's the correct plural form of it. So let's take a look at the left stick. So left axis is a zero, so that's correct. So vertically is one, so we're going to set Y to one. Okay, let's draw. Oh, that's not looking very well. Let's Spin it slower. Now, uh, this is actually quite a sad picture because what we are getting here is not uniform at all. It, I mean, the potential meters inside our analog sticks, yeah, they are analog, so there's variance. It's not perfectly digital. But this, you can see that the distribution of the points is... Uh, pretty out there and I think there's even a gap right here okay I, I managed to finally draw that in okay so uh yeah that's not very promising because <laughs> when you think about it remember that the Raiju tournament edition is like I don't know it, it costs about three four times the price of a PS4 DualShock 4 and uh it doesn't look like it's doing any much better. 
<laughs> okay, so let, let's just do it one more time. So you can see the distribution is just everywhere. And there's definitely something here. It, it can't report this corner properly. Okay, but for most people that have a problem with the Raiju Tournament Edition, it's always on the right thumbstick. So let's take a look at that. So this is uh, axis 2 is the x-axis or the right thumbstick. And uh, axis 5 is the y-axis for the right thumbstick. Okay, let's draw the line. Okay. Now here, something interesting is happening. And this is actually exactly what I was seeing in my other Raiju video when I said that spinning the spinning the Raiju in a certain direction you will feel that it's not spinning at the same speed as the other and it's very visible here so on the left you get that almost square shape so it probably goes through this very fast but on the right it's almost a curve so this I guess it's actually good you want a curve means it can report more values so that's actually great more values means that uh, we can have a tighter control. But the problem is, it should be s both sides should be the same. <laughs> so because there's a side that's fast and a side that's slow, there's definitely gonna cause issues. So again, I would like to point out that this controller is is ridiculously expensive, and <laughs> yet we're seeing problems like this. Oh man, okay, let's just take a picture of it so we can do a comparison between the between the sticks. So this is the Raiju's right stick. Now let me just plug back in the DualShock. Okay, let's draw the DualShock's right thumbstick movements. Okay, so nice and clean. One nice little square box. Let's, let's take a picture of that. Now let me just turn off that cam. Okay, let's compare. Dual Shop 4. Raiju Tournament Edition. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong here. So, my Raiju tournament is running on uh, version 1.03, so it's on the old hardware and it's not 1.04, which is supposedly working. So, I don't know, you tell me if you have a 1.04 Raiju tournament edition, go to the website, test it out, and uh, show me what is the stick, what's the performance that you're getting. Okay, so now for something interesting. This is the Narcon Revolution Pro, not the Pro 2. This is the original one that I have. It's their first version. So let's take a look at how the sticks work. Okay, so um, X is 0 and Y is 1. Okay, let's draw our circle. And immediately you see there is something really different about the Revolution Pro. Now you remember that for the DualShock, it was drawing a square. So again, like I said, that's because of how the potential meters work, but uh, whatever's happening on the Narcon Revolution Pro, it's definitely giving more accuracy on the corners and edges, so yikes. Guess that's a good thing because it means that it can report more values around all the corners. Well, let's take a look at the right thumbstick. So that's axis 2 and then axis 5.
Yep, the right thumbstick also exhibits the same thing. And let's go slower. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, the the Narcon Revolution seems like it's a much better controller than the Raiju tournament. Whatever it is, even if the Ra even if the Narcon didn't exist, the Raiju tournament is still yeah, it's real. It definitely gives a real big problem here. Considering the price, oh my god. Okay, so uh, you know what? If you have your own Raiju tournament or Ultimate Edition, go to the website, test it out, sell, tell me your results, tweet it, and uh, show me the picture. Okay, so uh, this is Marauders. I will see you on the next video.